Hey guys, we are back with some more New York Islanders franchise mode. And in this one, we're going to be trading Jordan Eberle. We do have a trade that I think is fair for Jordan Eberle. And that will work for Jordan Eberle. So we're going to be trading Eberle to the Nashville Predators. So let's get him on there. We'll also get a couple of draft picks on here. Uh, Calgary's second and Minnesota's fourth. And in return from Nashville, all we'll be getting is their first for this year and their first for next year. So boom, there you go. <laughs> we're taking the tank. We're, we're embracing the tank, boys. And this is going to be... Uh, we, we got a great future ahead of us with five first-round draft picks in the upcoming draft and then three next year. So a total of eight first-round draft picks with over the next two years, which is fantastic. I mean, this team needs it. <laughs> you, you got Pulak and Pelik on your top two defensive pair, and then you got, after Lee, Burzell, and Hosang, not much in terms of forwards either. And then, well, you got Beauvillier and Duclair, but again, not much else. And then goaltender-wise, you got Thomas Grice. So this team desperately needs that rebuild. So let us go through the rest of the season here. But before we do, we're going to assigned the scout because I was taking a look at the draft class before and I'll take a look at it right now just to show you guys it, a lot of our scouts seemingly have not been able to uncover all of these guys down here like basically anyone outside the top five has not been completely scouted as of yet so that you see what I mean about these scouts. Like, on, on automated, they're they're pretty good, but, like, you yeah, kind of need to give them some direction sometimes. So, we're gonna, that's exactly what we're going to need to do right now. So, let me just, you know what, I'm going to edit this out because this is going to take a while. So, let me just do this for all of these scouts and prospects, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've sent out all the amateur scouts. Let's finish the regular season with your New York Islanders. As it's pretty clear what direction we're going in here. <laughs> and uh, you know what? Just to just to make sure that we can get as good of a pick as possible. Let's throw Christ Christopher Gibson in there for a little bit. So there you go. <laughs> Let's get on with the rest of the season. Because again, I, I don't think there's any chance of us making the playoffs at this point. We've already traded Jordan Eberle. We've traded... Countless other players, Bailey, Hickey, uh, Robin Leonard, so, uh, Nick Letty as well. So it's really the writing's on the wall for your New York Islanders here this year. But we do have eight first round draft picks within the next two years. So really cannot complain at all. I mean, especially with how, uh, with how good drafting is in this game. So, let's just take this one game at a time here. And that is a 10-3 loss <laughs> against the Washington Capitals. And we are on a roll here as David Booth is injured for the Miners. Yeah, whatever. We'll just replace him. Not, not a prospect. <laughs> we know that much. Ottawa, yeah, we just keep losing here. And uh, this is looking better and better by the day. <laughs> let's see. Edmonton, day before the trade deadline. Not making any trades as we already made our trades. Pittsburgh, they're pretty good. And I would imagine we lost to them. Lost to the Buffalo Sabres. New Jersey, uh, Beauvillier. Pfft, roster moves. Let's see. So that helps out the tank even more. Let's just call up Del Cole. I don't think Del Cole is going to be a huge part of our future here. He's already 23. So we'll just, yeah, we'll call him up. I'm not going to call up Wallstrom just yet. I want him to get a full year down there in the AHL. So, edit lines, and you know what? We'll, we'll just put Del Cole in the second line center. Throw him right on the, into the fire there. There you go. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Bridgeport. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. This is important. We'll, I guess we'll throw David Booth back in there. I mean, I know he's not a center, but he's still pretty good overall-wise. I'll get Gotch on the first line center. Hamilton right there, and then... Yeah, I'll just think booth in the middle. Whatever. <laughs> All right, here we go. 3-2 lost to New Jersey. 
Yep, we are looking better and better by the day. <laughs> 27, 37, and 5 currently are your New York Islanders. So that's, uh, it's, it's good for the tank. And hopefully we can be the worst team in the NHL this year. All right, let's view draft class, see what our scouts have done so far. So outside the top five, we know about all these guys, Muller, Albert, Mills, Fallon, and Lafreniere. And then there's Oliver, Ali Oliver, high top six. Then there's Zubov, medium top six, Toybert, medium top four. All right, we don't have really too much. You got T Tim Cizek, who is playing in the extra liga. He doesn't look too bad. Could take a few years to develop, but not a bad, bad prospect. Maybe to pick up with our pick from San Jose or Philly. Mike Commodore, apparently, <laughs> playing in the U.S. Central. And he, he looks really good, actually, for a, a medium top six. He's got all those A's right there for the shooting, pretty much every category, actually. So he might not be a bad one to pick up in the late first round there. So I'm actually going to... Uh, no, I, I want, I meant to press triangle there, but okay. <laughs> Guess we'll, uh, all right, you know what, we'll, we'll use this opportunity to get Beauvillier back in there and then we will go back into the draft class and pin the players that I wanted to pin. So let's just, uh, let's finish this sim here. Uh, seven to three win against Buffalo. So, I mean, you're getting, you're getting some wins in there, but we are currently... The third worst team in the NHL, followed by Minnesota and Dallas. So let's view the draft class once more. As uh, we we have to pin some players here. Let's check gems and busts first. Uh, so no gems and all busts. <laughs> wow, that is unfortunate. Now let's take a look at potentials. Oh my! So well, th this guy is not a guaranteed franchise player, but there's a. Two bar franchise players supposedly going, I would say like fourth or fifth round there. So we'll pin him for right now. Uh, there is C Zek. We'll pin him. There's Z Ronick, Zane Ronick, goaltender in U.S. Central. He's gonna be a bit of a project, but he is a medium elite. So we'll we'll pin him. All right, let's see what else is going on here. Uh, no lows there. Oliver, Zubov, Commodore was a good one. Then Marcus Tripp. Yeah, he could be pretty good. Pin him. Pouliot. Comparison to James Van Riemsdyk. Uh, I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll pin all these guys who are going late first round or early second round. Who are a good potential. Okay, so Calico. Playing the A- league in Switzerland. I mean, you know, he's not bad. We'll pin Robertson as well. Toybert. Yeah, he's going 12th. We'll pin him anyway. I'm not even going to try that one. <laughs> Comparison to Ryan McDonough. Uh, actually, he's not, uh, he's not full. He's not fully scouted yet, so I'll leave him. Foot, McKenzie, Bickle, Rodin. I'll, I'll just pin all these good potential guys here. And yeah, that appears to be it for right now. So we will get back to the simulation and hopefully we can continue the tank here as we are uh, going for that first overall pick after all. So seven more games here. Calgary, that is a loss. That is a win against Detroit, 3-0. Florida... 3-2 loss. Winnipeg, that will be an injury to Mitchell Van de Sopel, who we will just replace. Win against Winnipeg. 5-2 loss against Philly. 2-1 win against Columbus. And a 5-0 loss to cap off the season against the Montreal Canadiens. Leaving us 34-43-5 on the season. 73 points. By far the worst in the Metro. Is it the worst in the league? Yes, it is. We have the best odds at the first overall pick. So that is very good. <laughs> Let's check the final season stats. Matt, Matt Burzell with 56 points to close off the season. Lee with 33 goals and 51 points. Ho Sang with 51. 
Duclair, 48. Beauvillier, 46. Nelson with 39. Clutterbuck, 36. So, <laughs> is that a career high for him or something? That must be... Yeah, that... That is actually, that is a career high for Cal, for Cal Clutterbuck. So, my goodness. Casey Zizekas with 35. Pulik with 26. Martin, 19. All these guys down here we don't care about. Plus minus. George is plus three. Duclair plus one. Dalpole and Clutterbuck even. And everyone else is a minus. Shots on goal. Lee with 244. Duclair with 100. 83 shooting percentage Lee with the 13.5 power play goals Lee with eight power play points Brazil with 15 Duclair and Lee with 13 each shorthanded points he got George's with three Martin and Beauvillier with two Sizikis Lee Barzell and Thorburn with one face offs he got uh, Sizikis with 53.2 Barzell with a 52.8 Beauvillier with a 51 flat, and Nelson with a 50.4. Hits, you got Lee with 160, Martin with 138, Pulak and Pelik up there as well with 134 and 130 each. And then giveaways and takeaways. Take these with a grain of salt because, especially for defensemen, they're going to look rather bad <laughs> just because of the how bad this team is at the moment. Ho Sang, though, did very well for himself, 64 and 34. Barzell, pretty well as well, 58 and 48. Lee is a good ratio right there. Beauvillier, not bad. Duclair, not bad. Nelson, uh, could be better, but not bad either. Clutterbuck, not bad. Martin, could be a lot better. Actually, that's that's pretty bad for a forward. Zeke is pretty bad. Pulak, again, that's going to happen for a defenseman on our team. I mean, <laughs> Ryan Pulak's the best defenseman we have right now in 83 overall, so I, I can't really uh, take that too seriously. Again, take take takeaways and giveaways with a grain of salt here. Uh, Thorburn with 31 and 22. Pelak, again, I mean, we can't really do much about that at the moment, just given the state of this team. Aho, uh, all these guys, again, that we don't care about. Fights. Thorburn with 13, Martin with 4, and Mayfield with 2. Let's check out goaltenders now, see how Grice did. 906, Gibson with a 912, so there you go. There, there is the NHL. Soderstrom in the, in the AHL with 33 wins, 920 save percentage. Hutchinson, our boy, with 8 wins in 13 games, 918 save percentage. And let's check out our rookies. Oliver Wallstrom with 81 points in 64 games played. 42 goals, 39 assists. He looks ready for the NHL next year. Bellows with 31 points in 70 games. Not bad. Bodie Wild with a 23-goal season as a defenseman. He is making that push for the NHL roster next year. Christian Ragnarsson, our first-round pick from last year. Up to a 75 overall. 26 points on the fourth line, so not bad there. And I believe we don't really care about anybody else here. Ottoson with nine. Salah with four. Okay, that's about it for the AHL. And now we... Come on, don't freeze up on me here. <laughs> this is the second time I'm recording this video. And last time... When I was recording this, the first time I was recording this, actually, <laughs> the uh, the game froze when I was coming out of the, the stat screen, so I got a little nervous there that it was going to happen again. Okay, so we're good, though. We are good. So let us simulate to find out where we're going to be picking in the NHL entry draft. But before we, <laughs> before we do that, let me just save just in case, because I'm not going to chance this here. Create new file. All right, all right, let's see where we're picking in the NHL Entry Draft. So we are going to go all the way up to the 22nd, and we're going to see where we're picking. We're going to see how, uh, actually, Bridgeport is in the playoffs, it appears, at 44, 19, and 10. So we'll actually follow Bridgeport here, as uh, hopefully they can get the AHL Championship. Eric Jelena is injured. That is unfortunate for him. 5-1 win. Van de Sompel is back. Yeah, whatever. Continue. 
4-3 win, 4-3 win. All right. So Bridgeport finishes the season 47, 19, and 10. So we're definitely going to follow Bridgeport through the playoffs here in the AHL. And they are facing Springfield in the first round. So get it done, Bridgefield. Uh, Bridgefield. <laughs> Bridgeport. <laughs> All right. So there's two solid wins there. Game four coming up. We can close out the series here. And it is going to a game number five. We'll go best lines here for Bridgeport. Get the best players out for the playoffs. And that is going to be a 3-2 loss. And we are out in the first round. Devin Setaguchi is injured. Yeah, whatever. Not that it matters at this point. So let's go back to the NHL and uh, just get up to the draft here. We'll also check out the awards and stuff. I, I got to keep reminding myself to check the awards because checking the awards, for those of you who <laughs> are, are new here, um, is not something that I have a habit of doing. So got to remind myself to check the awards this year as we... I, I almost forgot to do it last year. We just, you know, we, we did it like towards the beginning of the season. All right, let's actually view the draft class just to see what progress our scouts have made. Okay, so you got Drew and Delorier at a medium elite. You got Zubov at a medium top six. So our scouts have definitely made some progress here. Durand, Eve Durand with a medium top six. How does he look? Eh, he's not bad. More of a, he, he looks like a Christian Ragnarsson type player with that A for shooting. And then who else do we have here? Let's uh, let's check potential actually. So you got Muller obviously, Mills, Albert, Fallon, Lafreniere, and then Drew and Delorier. All the obvious guys there. Then Cizek and Ronick. They are still medium elite, so that's good to know. Uh, anybody else doesn't look like it. Go down here. Griba is a low elite. And that's what I figured when we saw that franchise. But it was only a two-bar scouted. Now it's fully scouted. And he is a low elite. So it's still a good pick, for sure. Uh, Oliver. Zubov. Durand. Yeah, all these guys. Well, you know what? We'll just pin these guys anyway, just in case. <laughs> I mean, we have five first-round picks this year, so you never know. Uh, yeah, that's good for that. Just double checking here just to make sure we're not missing anybody. And I'm pretty sure we're not. So yeah, let's let's sort by gem and bust here just to see if there's any gems and no, it's all still busts. So that's that's good to know. <laughs> let's just get up to the draft now and see where we're picking. And the playoffs are complete, and your Stanley Cup champions are the Tampa Bay Lightning, and the Calder Cup goes to the Binghamton Devils. There's the salary cap information for this year. I believe I saw the maximum was 89 million. And then minimum was like 68. Oh boy, there we go. Here we go, boys. We got the first overall pick for the New York Islanders. And we also have the ninth overall pick from Nashville and the 14th from Toronto. There we go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right, so let's view the draft class one more time. So, boys, this is huge. We have our choice of Andreas Mueller who's the consensus number one, apparently. 21 goals, 19 assists in the Dell. This is going to be a huge draft year for your New York Islanders, so we, we really got to make this pick count. Let me know in the comments. So a similar style to Patrick Kane. So again, boys, t take all this in, and uh, let's see who we should draft. You got Damian Mills, who is a power forward, said to go second overall. Our scouts have him ranked at third. 47 goals, 62 assists in the U.S. West against C-minus competition. A+, plus, A+, plus, A, A+, plus, A+, plus, A. He's good at puck protection, goal scoring, and one-on-one -on -one skill. His weaknesses are teammate utilization and reach. And actually, we'll, we'll take a look at that at Mueller as well. Mueller is a sniper against A-minus competition. His strengths are magic hands, skating, and offensive creativity. Weaknesses are character, Lack size and reach. Then you got Stu Albert, a center, ranked to go third overall. Our scouts have him at second. He plays in the Dell with B competition. 51 games played, 19 goals, 13 assists as a playmaker. A plus shooting, A plus puck skills, A, A plus, A minus, A. Strengths are 200 foot game, 
offensive creativity, creativity and a playmaking ability. Weaknesses are shot utilization, teammate utilization, and reach, and it is comparable to Nick Backstrom. Xavier Fallon, said to go fourth overall, playmaker from Switzerland with the SCL Tigers. Four goals and 11 assists in 49 games played against A- minus competition. A+, plus, A+, plus, A, A+, plus, A-, minus, A-, minus. strengths are a 200-foot game, offensive creativity, and playmaking ability, and his only weakness is reach. And he is comparable to Nicholas Backstrom. And then fifth is Alexis Lafreniere. Again, C-minus competition in the QMJHL is a playmaker. 65 games played, 35 goals, 57 assists. His strengths are skating, elite speed, and pro release. And his weakness is reach. He's got an A-plus for shooting, B, B, A-plus, A-minus, and B. And then comparable to Timu Solani. And then he got... Well, I mean, we're, we won't take a look at anyone outside the top five because uh, we pretty much, we already know. But uh, we'll just take a look at Drew and Delorier anyway because he's got the elite potential. In the QMJHL, 51 goals. Wow. <laughs> and 69 assists against C competition in 67 games played as a playmaker. He's got that A+, plus, A+, plus, A+, A+, plus, A-, minus A. So he looks solid as well, but you know what? I think... It's going to be one of these four, uh, maybe maybe even one of these three. Get it down to Muller, Mills, and Albert. You guys got to let me know. Uh, I'm leaning towards... I'm leaning towards Muller. That's just because he's ranked number one. But uh, we, we have the first overall pick here, boys. So let's, let's make it count. <laughs> Who do we choose to play alongside of Matt Burzell? Or... Or to play behind Matt Borzell in Stu Alberts or Xavier Fallon? Or will our pick be playing next to Barzell with Andreas Miller or Damian Mills? Let me know in the comments. That'll be about it for this one. All right, so let's see the player retirements here. Cullen, Hemsky, Gianta, Erat, McCallick, Callahan, Horton, Chimera, Brodziak, Rutu, MacArthur, Upshaw, Fair. Let's check goaltenders now. Niami Buda, Leighton, McKenna. Okay. There you go for retirements. And the following players are now scouts. Alish Hemsky for the Washington Capitals and Scotty Upshaw for the Philadelphia Flyers. All right. So now, now we will end it off. So let me know who we should draft first overall in the NHL entry draft. See you guys in the next one.